Yo, what is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day. And uh, just before I start the video, I do want to say that um, I had two videos planned, but uh, kind of had a fuck up on my PC and I ended up deleting the footage by accident. I fucking uh, deleted it from my recycle bin, so that's why I didn't uh, upload any sooner. Literally two videos, one was geared, one was ungeared, they, they were both, you know, deleted, so that's my bad. But anyway... Today I'm going to be showcasing the boy uh, Rimuru Tempest. Now I know a few people have done some uh, videos on him, but that's whatever. They, you know, they're not the, they're not going to showcase him to the same level as me, right? Obviously, not to brag anything, but you know what I mean. Hopefully, you know what I mean. Anyway, the boy Rimuru Tempest. Let's take a look at his skills. Obviously, skill one, uh, Indigo Flower, Rupture Damage, two times damage against buffed enemies, 180 percent single target, rank two, 270 percent. Rank 3, 450%, decent skill. Very good against uh, Mono Red, which he absolutely smashes, but we probably won't see them. Uh, skill 2, drop D pen. Drop D pen. Uh, assume a stance, which grants debuff immunity for one turn. Heal 20% of diminished HP at the start of the next turn at rank 1, pretty good. Rank 2, same thing, but he uh, actually taunts this time, because uh, rank 1 it doesn't taunt, rank 2 it does. Very, very good. Debuff immunity. Debuff immunity, sorry. Uh, taunt. Kingbrim can't do nothing to him. Very good. Rank 3, same thing. Taunts for 2 turns, but he heals back 50% of diminished HP. Whereas uh, rank 2 and rank 1, it's only 20 and 30% respectively. Pretty good, pretty good. His ultimate, cancel buffs and stances, inflict 588%. Single target, of course, stun for one turn. This is at dupe level 3. So, uh, yeah, stun is pretty good. You'll mostly be using this on um, someone like King, because if you stun anyone else, then King can cleanse it and it's just pointless, do you know what I mean? With his Fate Link uh, Meliodas, 672%, so it does hit pretty hard. It is only 3 out of 6, so that's why the number isn't too high. And also his passive, increase defense related stats by 8% at the start of the next turn if this hero takes damage. Limit 5 times, so uh, pretty damn good. Gets a 40% uh, defense related stat increase if he's attacked 5 times. Very good. The way we're going to play him, we're going to get quite a lot of that passive up because we are going to use his taunt. Uh, we'll be playing ungeared just because um, if I show you geared, I did play uh, <laughs> the spoiler. This is what I used for geared. I got a 100% win rate, faced uh, 8 real players out of 9. It was a really good video. This team is act it's absolutely stupid, but you know. I uh, deleted the video by accident and uh, yeah, maybe next week uh, I'll use the same team and uh, we can see what we can do then but for now this is what we'll be using uh, not the attack food we'll be using uh, ultimate gauge food of course obviously the main gist of this team is try to get a level 3 level 2 is fine taunt with Rimuru build up the ultimate of Galther and uh, King obviously they're both 6 out of 6 so we're going to absolutely destroy this is ungeared uh, should be smooth like really uh, shouldn't be too bad he is like um, a better version of red gill if you can get the rank two or three because he taunts and then he heals back uh, some hp which gill can't do and obviously gill is liable to uh you know petrifies and stuff like that so i think the team will do well but we won't know until we actually go play so uh, let's see what this team does all right game number one what do we have we have mono red engine with escanor this team is so popular, man. For reasons I do not know. Um, we do this, so it's a real player. That's good. Do we even need to rank up Rimuru? Like, I feel like mm, we'll just do it just to be safe. Yeah. Now, next turn, we can get his ultimate, get King's ultimate. Should be uh, pretty good. Ooh, that is great. That's, uh, that's very good. What we can do now is... Uh, mm, I was thinking uh, double rank up Rimuru, but that's probably a bad idea. The best thing to do would probably be um, fuse the uh, the rank up. Oof, yeah, that's thick. Oh, thick damage. Oh. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. 
No, wait, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. Like, what the heck? Yeah, that'll be just fine. I was a bit worried about what to do, but nah, man, if we heal him up. Obviously, we are we are gonna die to the yes for the ultimate, that's not a problem, but I do want to taunt. And obviously, had to use um one of King's cards. I want to save the, uh, the Petrify, I can use that afterwards. But yeah, there's not too much you can do here. The King ultimate is gonna kill his uh, Galtha and Arthur. Maybe not 100% kill, but definitely get them really low. We can finish them afterwards. And then Eskimo, he's he's not gonna do much. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I didn't see what the point of that was. He should have just saved that. One twenty-one. Yeah, that's uh, that has dupes in it, man. I don't know why he uh, wasted the um, the first card. Anywho, do I? 57, 69, nah man, his red units are toast, I know that for a fact, no way he survives. We petrify the Eskinol, there, yeah, there's no way that to survive, no way. Ooh, deadly, deadly max. But yeah man, obviously Rimuru, the way I see him, he's a better version of Red Gill, so at the end of the day, he is going to be uh, indispensable in your team, or the way I play him, he will be. I don't expect him to, uh, you know, to live or do anything crazy. I just expect him to protect my units so they get their ultimate. And then once they get their ultimate, he can die. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, he quit. Fair enough. Let's uh, let's keep going. Okay, what do we have? Oh no, it's the same guy. Feels bad. <laughs> That's why um, when you lose to someone, don't queue up right after them. Like just just don't do it don't do it okay all right this is gonna make life easier for us we got the uh the top deck petrify pretty good pretty good now we're not gonna top deck the same uh crazy hand yeah definitely not but what's he gonna do here he's gonna make the same play come on man you should have learned you should have learned bro Okay. Wow, even he got the exact same hand. What the heck? Oh. Oh, we are in trouble now, boys. Do this, and then Petrify. At least like this, we do um, get some damage off on the Galtha. And then we Petrify the... Um, the Arthur, so when we do use our ultimate Galtha, we still basically nuke. Yeah, so we didn't get as good of a draw as last game, but we are gonna end up winning regardless. So that's good, that's good, that's good. What's he gonna do here? He's thinking hard. That better be a cruel cool son. Oh. Seems that he got, um,. You got a really good top deck. He seems to have a lot of Eskinol cards. Yo, what? Okay, fair, fair play. But I still don't see what he's uh, what he's trying to accomplish here. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. I um, I don't blame him for that. Now, is there even a point of taunting with uh, Rimuru? I don't think there is. I think we should just uh, attack. To be fair, Galtha doesn't have a Fate Link right now. Oh, never mind, he still destroys. Of course, of course he does. Ah, oh, the Arthur's alive. Fuck. Galtha's dead though. Yeah, either way, it's still a W. Uh, I don't see how he can uh, come back. And I don't understand why he's running um, Ellie Hawk. Now, what's the point in that? Is it for uh, CC? Is she six out of six? I don't really, uh, I don't really see it. Man, <laughs> for three turns he's used nothing but Escal cards. What the heck? Huh. 
boosts the early hawk. Um, do this. Force him to uh, use a uh, early hawk's what do you call it? Cleanse thing. The uh, the hawk debuff uh, cleanser, whatever you call it. I don't even know what it's called. Seems like he doesn't even have it. Well, he's lost then because he's not gonna do enough damage to the Galtha. Well, see, I wonder what he's thinking of. Going all out on the Merlin, okay, and then we just do this, yeah. Reduces gauge that doesn't fuse, does it? Okay, pop, pop, pop. Now what? Now what, bro? Kurusan. Ouch. Yo, wait, what? Okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be pretty close, but if we can get, um... Ooh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 Oh, my days. Guys, I got shafted. <laughs> I got shafted with the, uh, I got nothing but rank ups. What the heck? Yeah, we've lost. GG to him. He got, uh, she has to be 6 out of 6. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, GG to him. Obviously, he did get a much better RNG than I did the uh, the second time around, but that's fine. Nothing, uh, nothing to uh, stress about. It is what it is. Let's uh, let's go to our next game. All right, next game, we have a uh, funky, whatever the heck this is. Oh, okay. Well, rank up Rimuru. Apply the taunt and uh, yeah. Obviously, this is a full herky jerky mono red, but that's fine. Ooh, our king is gonna wipe. Absolute wipe. Now, running Helbrum in this herky jerky mono red, I don't really see why you would do that. It would have been much better to run a Hauser, but you know, it's fine. Petrify, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, bitch. <laughs> it does not work. Uh, uh, I guess do this. Yeah. Attack the Galtha, he's the tankiest. Attack Seal for no reason, and then Petrify the Hilbrim. So, what's that? That's um, Arthur's debuff. Arthur's um, AoE buff and Galtha's attack suit. He's using mono red, so who's gonna be in the back? Twigo? Twigod? I don't know. Hopefully, this king uh, ultimate is enough. If not, we'll just follow up and just taunt for the sake of it. Not even taunt, but you know, just uh, assume the stance, as they would say. Bam. Ooh, he survived. He survived indeed. I wonder who he has in the back. Wow. That's got to be Hauser in the back. Nah, Tweegod. Interesting. Yeah, man, that Arthur was not dying. He did, he did not want to die. But that's fine. We will uh, one tap the Tweegod and then finish off Arthur. All right. Uh, Bam, that's a one tap. And then finish off. Fate Link, yeah, no way. Um, no way uh, Twee God survives this. 
He survives. Color me shocked. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm too used to a uh, six out of six ultimates, but yeah. To be fair, Arthur's passive with a uh, Twigo's passive. I guess I can understand why he survived. Obviously, my Rimuru is only um, three out of six. Yeah, I, I guess it makes sense. Now let's uh, burst the Arthur or rupture the author man is okay 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 I was about to say man I was pretty annoying <laughs> but yeah that's fine what's that game number three yeah all right let's carry on let's carry on uh steamrolling all right what do we have here oh this guy's toxic <laughs> this dude is toxic as hell Jesus man Ah, uh, this is not going to be a fun game whatsoever. Yikes. Um, but because it is a bot, I'm just going to push um, double alternates. Yeah, man, this team is really toxic because Arthur plus Grimm or passive, oof, it's disgusting. He's going to be pushing... Um, a serious amount of uh, lifesteal because he's getting what 15% lifesteal from Grimoire and then I forgot how much Arthur gives is it 10% or some shit like that 10% 15% lifesteal so between Arthur and Grimoire they give each other 15% each so 30% but of course the Galtha only gets 15% from Grimoire's because he's not human so Arthur's uh, passive doesn't apply to him, but still, man. Yeah, look, look that, that tank is disgusting. Sweaty. That's fine, though, man. <laughs> That's fine. I wonder who he has in the back. Oh, he puts up the wall as well. Eight K damage recovers. 5k back. That's some insane lifesteal, man. Jesus Christ. Um. Heck, I mean, just follow up with those attacks just in case it's not enough. Well, I know it's not going to be enough. That's why I followed up with them. Yeah. No buffs. Ugh. Arthur, you're so tanky. Would have been better to just kill one of them for God's sake. Twee God, man. <sighs> I don't understand how you can win games with Twigo in the back, man. You're just making life difficult for everyone else. Like, you're not gonna. I don't know, maybe that's just me being salty, but you're not gonna win with Twee God in the back, man. I swear. What was that? Around 13k damage recovers back 7.5. Yikes, man. The lifesteal was serious. The force is strong with this one. Uh, Yeah, no need to even taunt, man. Just uh, just go full out attack. Stun the Twee God. Yeah, man. This team is super toxic. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's no way you're winning games with that team. There's no way. <laughs> Only 97k CC with a super tank team. Like... Come on, man. That's a that's what you call troll team. You're not playing to win, but you're just playing to troll. You know, puts up a level a level three. Yikes. Well, uh, no cap. The green one has to die because I'm not taking an AOE to the face. Rimuru. Nice. He popped that level 3 uh, wall like it was nothing. Good shit, man. Man, this game has just been so long. These stall teams. And it's not going to get any better because he just keeps life stealing back. Ugh. Twee God. Uh. How about we taunt? We. Attack and attack. Next turn we should finish things. Yikes. 
Brimmer is gonna eat that ultimate like a tic tac. Oh, wow, that bot is super toxic. Buffs Arthur so he does more damage than lifesteal. Ugh. Yeah, crit us as well. We recover all of it back, no problem. Can we please kill now? Please? Still no. Okay, this should be it, man. Jesus, whoever this guy is, you. <laughs> uh, I know your win rate is uh, terrible if you're using that team, but yeah, man, let's carry on. That that game was awful, but it is what it is. Let's keep going. All right, what do we have here? Kingbrim, interesting. Interesting. Uh. Yeah, we do this. <clears throat> this way, the Kingbrim is useless. Ooh, that is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful RNG. We're going to double rank up. Petrify the King, petrify the um, Hellbrim. If he's smart, he pushes Galtha Gage. Obviously, he's gonna have no idea what I have in my hand, but yeah, that's a misplay. You can't, you can't petrify me, dude. <laughs> have you not been keeping up? You can't petrify me. Did half our HP? How much do we heal back? Around one quarter. Okay, now we do this. We do that, and we do this. Yeah, man, it's not like it's a boy, it's a real player, so I don't know why the heck he uh, wasted that. He should have just pushed the, his ultimate. Petrify. Petrify, and that is uh, GG. Ooh, we have double ultimate. That's unfortunate. That is uh, most unfortunate indeed. Outplayed the King Broom. <laughs> That's funny, man. If that's a level three, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough, fair enough. Ooh, 25 points. He's uh, pretty high on the ladder. Good for him, but yeah, man, he got screwed. He uh, Rimuru just counters Kingbrim totally. If you run him with a uh, Galtha for the level two taunt, I'm gonna go get some PvP tickets. We'll keep playing BRB. All right, what do we have? What the heck is this? That's a weird team. Either way. Just do this. Mm, maybe pushing King Ultimate was a... Uh, ah, no, that's not a bad idea. Just because he has a... Oh my. That is pretty toxic. Don't push your Escanor Ultimate, please. Let me petrify you. Let me petrify you. We are affected by Barnes passive, which is annoying. Gonna have to uh, attack him. Oh wait, hold up. This might be bad. Hmm. Hmm. Rank up Galtha. Do that and then petrify the barn. Yeah, we had to do that just because uh, if we went, uh, if we put all of our eggs in King's basket, then Escanor one shots the king and we, uh, we effectively lose. This was pretty much the best thing to do. He has one Escanor card or Galtha card. So, uh, what's it gonna be? Kill the Galtha, kill the uh, the king. Galtha's gonna demolish him, right? Because he has um, two greens, so I'm not really uh, too worried about that. Targets the king. Crit. Hmm. Hmm. All right, we are in a pretty bad position. Um. 
Um, I'm pretty damn sure Barn is dead. Like, I am pretty damn sure. Eh, nonetheless, we'll just target him just to be safe. But yeah, Barn has really low uh, defense. Ah, oh, what? Hmm. Uh... Do I want to say it's a waste? No, nah, I'm not gonna say it's a waste. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to say it's a waste. But, yeah, I mean, Rimuru, he is technically a better version of uh, Red Gill. Technically, as in, you do have to uh, get him a level 2 taunt, right? But if you do, then it's really good. Level 2 Arthur buff. Attack Seal. Cleave. Hmm. This doesn't look too good. Well, I mean, rank up Merlin, level three. We're finding ourselves in some pretty bad uh, positions. Not gonna lie. Are you pushing Arthur Ultimate as well? Hmm. What's he thinking? Um. Oh, decisions, man. I mean, I don't think I can kill the Arthur. I legit don't. Uh, yeah, this legit might be the wrong decision, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Yeah, please kill. Wow. Fifty one uh, fifty one on Galtha, no way we killed uh, no way we would have killed Arthur. So that decision wasn't too bad. Who's he gonna target Merlin? Don't crit, don't crit. Ah, Can we get a... Oh, yes. Beautiful. Don't rank up. Last time we was 1v1, we got destroyed by the, um, the opponent's top deck. Alright, I think we're safe. Whoa. Um, yeah, we'll do this. None of the attacks were affected because they're debuffs, of course. He might, uh, he might actually, um, outlive us here. But we don't care about that right now. We just want to uh, reduce his gauge. Yeah, we're going to get out stored here. 100%. Ouch. That's unfortunate. But what can you do? What can you do? Going one v one against Arthur is really bad. Wow. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna give up this one, boys. That's unfortunate. Yeah, not too much you can do about it, really. But um, let's uh, let's play. I think we should play one more game. Yeah, let's play one more game. All right, boys. <coughs> Cold man. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, real player. We're gonna showcase the powerful taunt. This is for two turns. He's just gonna have to suck this one up and deal with it however he can. Don't push Galtha. Don't push Galtha. Don't push Galtha. <laughs> Pushes Escanor. That's not good. Eh, to hell with Escanor. What do I care? I'm just going to push my Galtha. Yeah. We don't care about Escanor. That's what I mean, Rimuru's job is literally done the moment the uh, the other one of the other two gets an ultimate. That's literally his job done. After that, we really couldn't care about what Rimuru does. Oh, well, for me, in the team I'm using with him, right? Maybe for some other teams or comps that people use, they might want him to stay alive, but I don't, I don't really care about him after that. Stun the king, no healing for you, bro. Wait. Oh no wait, Rimuru's still taunting, okay, I, I was about to say, he could actually just kill the Galtha, but no he can't, because we're still taunting. He's gonna kill Rimuru, we're gonna get three new cards in. Easy. Easy. Imagine that Eskinor is 1 out of 6, and it doesn't kill. <laughs> nah, that's wishful thinking, man. A, a, a lot of people have Eskinor dupes. Yeah, that has dupes. 104k. All right, all right, all right. Uh, rank up the king, alt, pitch fire the Escanor. Galtha is going to kill the king, going to get Escanor low. We're going to get him even more lower. And then at that point, just clean up. The, the two games that I lost, they were really unlucky because, like, we got to 1v1 situations, but with Galtha, that's not really the kind of 1v1 situation you want to be in. Especially if it's Ellie Hawk and Arthur. Because Ellie Hawk can just cleanse Galtha's debuffs, and Arthur doesn't isn't affected by Galtha's debuffs, so that was uh, pretty annoying. Alright, let's do this. Eskinor's dead and reduce Galtha's gauge. I'm assuming Eskinor's dead, unless this guy is using a defense food. No, he's not, okay. Reduce that boy's gauge. But yeah, I mean, this team is more so designed to be a counter to Kingbrim. Against other teams, we didn't do too well, but that's some... I don't want to say it's expected because the team is really good, it's just the situations I was in, RNG did kind of, uh, you know, cuck us a bit, which is fine. I'm no stranger to be in, uh, being cut by RNG, so I'm not really uh, going to complain about it too much. But uh, yeah, this is GG. He might just quit. 3v1, 2 ultimates, like, what would be the point, you know? Or maybe he carries on. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, he decides to waste our time. Fair enough. Let's uh, kill him off and go back to the menu to have a little chat about the team. Merlin? Yeah. Nice, nice. Alright, boys. Let's uh, go back to the menu and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so uh, we didn't do too bad with this team, I think we played, uh, what did we play, 7 games, we lost 2, won 5. This team is mainly like um, a counter to Kingbrim, because if you're able to go first, you rank up your Rimuru, do the taunt, and then you can push someone else's ultimate. But outside of that, I mean we did still win 5 games, right? it's not that like we got destroyed, it's just I'm still a bit salty about the other 2 games. Uh, they went down to the wire and uh, we was in a uh, you know unfavorable positions but nonetheless I actually do like this team I think it's pretty good it's pretty damn good like I said uh, Rimuru the taunt is very nice he's technically a better version of Red Gill technically of course but 
yeah I mean it's a solid team not too much more to say about it uh, probably the best counter to Kingbrem that you could possibly run right now because um, the other counters to Kingbrem like uh, Esther Rosa they're not here yet and Derrieri she's not here yet so can't really um, say much more other than that great counter to Kingbrem against certain other comps you might struggle but nonetheless it was a fun team I did enjoy it but uh, yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed the showcase of a uh, Rimuru Tempest pretty good tank actually he's a really good tank barring Escanor because you know Escanor is going to destroy him just purely on a type disadvantage he is going to get wrecked but there's not too much you can do about it but yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new Go check out my other videos if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.